Welcome to Maths Companion. Today we are going to start the fourth chapter. Look at this equation x plus 1 equal to 3. Here the value of x is 2. When we give x equal to 2, we get 2 plus 1 equal to 3, which is true. Suppose we give x equal to 3, what happens? 3 plus 1 equal to 3. That is not true. That means this equation is true only when x equal to 2. There are certain equations which are always true. For example, a into b plus c equal to ab plus ac. Let me put a equal to 1, b equal to 2 and c equal to 3. Then we get 1 into 2 plus 3 equal to 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 into 5 is 5, 1 into 2 is 2, 1 into 3 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. So this equation is true when a is 1, b is 2 and c is 3. Now let me put a equal to 5, b equal to 3 and c equal to 7. Then 5 into 3 plus 7 equal to 5 into 3 plus 5 into 7. 3 plus 7 is 10, 5 into 10 is 50. 5 into 3 is 15, 5 into 7 is 35, 15 plus 35 is 50. So this equation is true when a is 5, b is 3 and c is 7 also. And we can see that this equation is true whatever value we give for a, b and c. That means this equation is always true. Such equations are called identities. Today we are going to learn the chapter identities. Let us discuss the first part of this lesson product of sums. Let me take a rectangle at first. The length is 12 cm and breadth is 7 cm. What is the area of this rectangle? We know area of a rectangle is length into breadth. Here length is 12 and breadth is 7. Therefore, area is 12 into 7 or 84 centimeter square. Now, let me take the same rectangle once again and let me increase the length by 3 centimeter and make a large rectangle. What is the area of this large rectangle? Here, the length is 12 plus 3 or 15 and breadth is 7. So, the area is 15 into 7 or 105. We can find it in another way also. The length is 15 or we can write 12 plus 3 and breadth is 7. So the area can be written as 12 plus 3 into 7. And the area of the large rectangle is the sum of the areas of these two rectangles. The area of this rectangle is 12 into 7 and area of this blue rectangle is 3 into 7. Now 12 into 7 is 84, 3 into 7 is 21. Adding together we get the area as 105. That means when the length is increased by 3 cm, the area is increased by 21 cm square. From this we can see that 12 plus 3 into 7 is 12 into 7 plus 3 into 7. That is we have to multiply each number within the bracket by the 7 which is outside the bracket. Now let me take the first rectangle once again and instead of increasing the length let me increase the breadth by 2 cm. Now what is the area of the large rectangle? Length is 12 cm, breadth is 7 plus 2 or 9 cm. So the area is 12 into 9 or 108 centimeters square. We can find it in another way also. Length is 12, breadth is 7 plus 2. So the area is 12 into 7 plus 2. And the area of the large rectangle is the sum of the areas of these two small rectangles. Area of this rectangle is 12 into 7. And area of the green rectangle is 12 into 2. 12 into 7 is 84 and 12 into 2 is 24. 
adding together we get 108 which is the area of the large rectangle that means when the breadth is increased by 2 cm the area is increased by 24 cm square from this we can see that 12 into 7 plus 2 is 12 into 7 plus 12 into 2 or when we multiply sum of two numbers by another number we have to multiply each number within the bracket by the number outside now let me take the first rectangle once again and let me increase the length by 3 cm and increase the breadth by 2 cm have we got a large rectangle no a part is missing here suppose we put a rectangle here we can make it a large rectangle what are the dimensions of the rectangle to be put here this is the length that is 3 cm this is the breadth that is 2 cm so we have to put a rectangle of length 3 and breadth 2 to make it a large rectangle now what is the area of this large rectangle length is 12 plus 3 or 15 breadth is 7 plus 2 or 9 so the area is 15 into 9 or 135 square centimeters we can find it in another way length can be written as 12 plus 3 and breadth can be written as 7 plus 2 so the area is 12 plus 3 into 7 plus 2 and the area of this large rectangle is the sum of the areas of all the four rectangles the area of this rectangle is 12 into 7 and area of this green rectangle is 12 into 2 area of this blue rectangle is 3 into 7 and area of this rectangle is 3 into 2 12 into 7 is 84 12 into 2 is 24 3 into 7 is 21 3 into 2 is 6 adding together we get 135 here sum of two numbers is multiplied by another sum of two numbers then the first number is multiplied by the first number and then by the second number then taking the second number it is multiplied by the first number and then by the second number that is 12 plus 3 into 7 plus 2 is 12 into 7 plus 12 into 2 3 into 7 plus 3 into 2 is it always true let us check let us check it using algebra let me take the rectangle the length is a and breadth is c increase the length by b and increase the breadth by d now to get a large rectangle we have to put a small rectangle here the dimensions are b and d now let us find the areas of all these four small rectangles area of this rectangle is ac area of this rectangle is bc area of this rectangle is ad and area of this rectangle is bd now let us find the area of the large rectangle the length of the large rectangle is a plus b breadth of the large rectangle is c plus d therefore the area is length into breadth or a plus b into c plus d and the area of the large rectangle is the sum of the areas of all the four rectangles that is ac plus ad plus bc plus bd or we can say a plus b into c plus d equal to ac plus ad plus bc plus bd that is a into c that is the first term a into d that is the second term b into c that is the third term b into d that is the fourth term that is to multiply a sum of positive numbers by a sum of positive numbers multiply each number in the second sum by each number in the first sum and add that is a plus b into c plus d equal to ac plus ad plus bc plus bd when we multiply sum of two numbers by another sum of two numbers multiply each number in the second sum by the first number in the first sum and then multiply each number in the second sum by the second number in the first sum 
and add it together that is a plus b into c plus d is ac plus ad plus bc plus bd here a b c and d represent some numbers you can use any four letters here i have used a b c and d if you want some other letters you can use that also this is the first identity which we have to learn in this chapter now let us do some problems using this identity first problem 26 into 74 first of all let us express 26 as a sum of two numbers how can we express 26 as a sum of two numbers let me express it as 20 plus 6 and 74 can be expressed as 70 plus 4 therefore 26 into 74 equal to 20 plus 6 into 70 plus 4 now this is equal to 20 into 70 plus 20 into 4 plus 6 into 70 plus 6 into 4 what is 20 into 70 2 into 7 is 14 there are two zeros therefore 20 into 70 is 1400 20 into 4 is 80 what is 6 into 70 6 into 7 is 42 therefore 6 into 70 is 420 6 into 4 is 24 80 plus 420 is 500 500 plus 1400 is 1900 plus 24 is 1924 therefore 26 into 74 equal to 1924 here i have written 26 as 20 plus 6 can't we write it as 21 plus 5 or 22 plus 4 of course you can but it may be difficult for you to multiply at that time we can easily multiply by the numbers ending in 0 that is why we express 26 as 20 plus 6 and 74 as 70 plus 4 so it is better to express the numbers as a sum of two numbers in which one of them is a number ending in 0 and the other is a single digit number next problem 103 into 205 103 can be written as 100 plus 3 and 205 can be written as 200 plus 5 this can be written as 100 into 200 plus 100 into 5 plus 3 into 200 plus 3 into 5 1 into 2 is 2 and there are four zeros so 100 into 200 is 20,000 100 into 5 is 500 3 into 200 is 600 3 into 5 is 15 20,000 plus 500 is 20,500 plus 600 is 21,100 plus 15 is 21,115 next problem 6 and half into 8 1 by 3 6 and half can be written as 6 plus 1 by 2 and 8 1 by 3 can be written as 8 plus 1 by 3 this can be written as 6 into 8 plus 6 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 into 8 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 6 into 8 is 48 what is 6 into 1 by 3 1 3 is 3 2 3 is 6 2 into 1 is 2 therefore 6 into 1 by 3 is 2 1 by 2 into 8 or half of 8 is 4 to find 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 we have to multiply the numerators then we have to multiply the denominators that is 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 6 48 plus 2 is 50 plus 4 is 54 plus 1 by 6 is 54 1 by 6 today we have learned only one identity to multiply a sum of positive numbers by a sum of positive numbers multiply each number in the second sum by each number in the first sum and add or 
a plus b into c plus d equal to ac plus ad plus bc plus bd. Now there are two homeworks. First one 32 into 43. Second one 10.3 into 20.2. In the next video we shall discuss the remaining part. Till then bye.